Well, I think it's something where the cars are very um, exotic and cool, and there's something that nobody else in my family has done, and that uh, that appeals to me as well because it's something where everything else has been driven and they've won and different stuff. So it's something that I can make my own name within the family as being made, hopefully the first person to win the Super Modified. Um, but also Oswego is is the place to go to run a Super Modified. They're the Indy of the East, Steel Palace, there's so much history there. And there's obviously a sense around the town and the Speedway, whenever there's a race there, it's it's a big deal. And coming up here to test, I felt that, and, and when you feel that, you want to be a part of it. Well, I want to continue into open wheel. I want to, I want to race the Indianapolis 500, and, and that's the ultimate goal, is to, is to try to win that race. But it's wherever kind of everything shakes out to be and maybe in sports cars which are very fun the rolex gt cars are are fun to drive and then also nascar stock cars is not you know there may be an opportunity there but i've only raced open wheel besides the rolex gt car and, and i kind of like it that way uh, i think the goals for oswego are just to to finish every race i think that's the first goal and then as i gain more experience and and hopefully every week just improve my position it's something where i want to keep the goals realistic these aren't these aren't cars that you can come out and win in the first week or even the second week. It's something where you're running against people that have been running these for a very long time and very good teams and very good cars. So it's something where I want to be realistic with the expectations. But in the end, I do want to, to run run well and, and hopefully win a race by the end of the season. Well, uh, they just I spoke to Mario, I believe it was last week at the Speedway, and, and I kind of told him, got him up to speed on everything we're doing. And he, you know, he goes, everything you do will apply to something. So uh, this will apply all the all the left side weight and all the grip and something that will apply to something in the future. I just don't know what it is yet. So I think that, you know, uh, and also my Nono Aldo, when I first tested here, he goes, uh, I remember the timing line. I don't know if they've changed it. It's down there in the first corner and you have to lift before it to make the corner. But I went wide open over and spun it and qualified six and I was locked into the feature. So that's just stuff that they remember and that's stuff that you, know, you have to think about when you want to make time. So that's that's piece of advice my no-no right off the bat gave me about Oswego so I think it, it's cool that I remember stuff like that and and it's good information for me to draw upon. Yeah Jim Paternoster was um, looking for a driver. Sean was unfortunately in a, in a bad accident a, a while back and, and um, has some feeling issues with his right foot so um, he just decided to climb out of the seat I guess until the last race of the season and um, so then Jim kind of were able to he, we spoke with him and kind of put the deal together to run this uh, this Hawk chassis and you know, it's a good car to get experience in, good fast car, safe car, and, and that's what you're looking for as a rookie driver, just coming into something that you can run well in and also when some, if something does happen that you're safe in.